Peace be with you. My name is Alan Kiesler. Although I'm in the United States, I'm always thinking about Pakistan and especially these days Afghanistan and Khalistan. I just want to repeat something I've said in my previous chats, but very clearly and succinctly. There are two groups of Taliban. The original Taliban are Afghan freedom fighters. They are independent. They are following the true traditions of Afghan society, especially Pakhtun society. Uh, they are sincere Muslims, God-fearing men and women. And on the other hand, there are the so-called Tariki Taliban in Pakistan, the Pakistani Taliban, who are very different. Uh, they are not independent. They are controlled, manipulated, we should say, funded, supplied by, uh, I shouldn't name the exact agency, but it starts with a C, <laughs> an American agency who uh, is really behind them, and of course other allied nations, allied to the United States, are also behind that group, that organization, and they are not uh, real Muslims. I mean, they are Muslims, but they really don't understand what Islam is. Islam means peace and love. Islam means truth and justice. And this Pakistani Taliban, unfortunately, has been very misled uh, by persons who, whatever they imagine about themselves, uh, we can understand they really don't understand Islam because they're terrorists, and Islam is against terrorism. Islam plainly teaches uh, that in a war, one can fight against the enemy who comes against us. If we are sincere, if we want the truth, uh, then we will follow the teachings of the Holy Quran and the Holy Bible, and all scriptures teach the same thing, that war is meant to be a just war in defense. It's not an aggressive war. Uh, just war means, there's a doctrine in Christian teaching also, uh, that you fight against the enemy that comes to attack you, and you don't uh, fight against or kill innocent civilians, women, children, elderly people, business people, anyone who's not coming against you as a warrior. Um, so, unfortunately, the Taliban in Pakistan, a totally different organization, uh, different sources, uh, different understandings of Islam. Uh, these Taliban are terrorists. They have been trained even to be suicide bombers, uh, trained by, not by Muslims, trained by anti-Muslim, anti-Pakistani forces who uh, failed to understand the real message of Islam, which is love, truth, and justice. So uh, the Taliban in Afghanistan, the original Taliban, who are sincere freedom fighters, of course very expert fighters, uh, very determined and have had decades of experience fighting foreign occupation forces for the protection of their country. Um, they are the real original Taliban. And on the other hand, there is this imitation group. They also call themselves the Taliban in Pakistan but they are just the opposite. They are not patriotic uh, freedom fighters. They are anti-national terrorists. So, of course, the mass media, especially the Western international mass media, has always portrayed the Taliban in a bad light uh, because they can't control them. <laughs> the Satanists who control the mass media, they cannot control the Afghan Taliban. On the other hand, they are controlling, they are responsible for misleading, we should say. They are responsible for uh, teaching the so-called Taliban in Pakistan many fake things about Islam and about Pakistan. Pakistan is the land of the pure, chosen land, chosen by God to reestablish pure Islam, which means truth and love and justice and morality, uh, and which really is the ultimate goal of all life. All life teaches this sort of pure Islam. All life is directed towards this pure Islam, which is love. Love of God and love of all of God's creation. That's the essence 
of real Islam. And the Taliban in Pakistan do not understand this. Um, they have been misled. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. And let's see if we have any comments or questions about this. Uh, in Sia Hussain says, Assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum salam. And Wasima Khan says, Assalamu alaikum, salam alan sahib. Wa alaikum salam, Wasima Khan ji. H.M. Raza Yusuf says, Assalamu alaikum, sir. Uh, manage your expectations if you don't want to end up disappointed. Don't expect to get what you give because not everyone has a heart like yours. Nonetheless, give generously knowing your reward is with the Almighty and not from people around you. Very nice statement. Thank you very, very much. H.M. Uh, Raza Yusuf's statement about managing your expectations and yeah, knowing your reward is with the Almighty, not from people around you. That is very profound, true statement. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see. Wasima Khan says, how are you keeping? I hope you are well. Bless you. Well, I still have not heard any uh, final report from the cardiologist. Uh, my cardiologist has referred me to another cardiologist who does these um, procedures, uh, so I'm waiting to get a, a call from him, consultation and schedule. But I'm actually feeling much better by the mercy of God and by all of your prayers and by drinking this juice, this carrot, ginger and turmeric juice, I'm actually much better. So Hassan Ali says, Taliban freedom fighters shows that only Allah is with us. Other sides have army of 48 countries and latest technologies. But at last, Allah support wins. Silent message to the superpower. I agree with you completely. Very beautiful statement. That is correct. The Taliban were totally outnumbered, outfunded. Uh, they were sincere servants of Allah. And there's no doubt that God helped them uh, in this struggle for their own national independence from these foreign forces. Uh, previously against the Russians, before that the British, the Afghan people have always uh, been very, very uh, incredible fighters uh, and sincere patriots, and it's wonderful what has happened in Afghanistan. Don't believe the mass media's lies. <laughs> okay, Rihanna Amala says, Salaam Babaji, Wa Alaikum Salaam, Rihan Sahib. Naseem Nawaz says, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa rakatuhu. Is it. Uh, is it. Qab, uh, sir. Okay, thank you. Peace be upon you too. Wa alaikum salam. Naseem Nawaz sahib. Mian Mahmood also says, Assalamu alaikum. How are you, sir? Uh, I just said I'm much better by the mercy of God and by your prayers and by the natural remedy I'm taking of carrot juice, turmeric, and ginger. So I'm actually feeling much better, although I still have not <laughs> finalized any appointment with my new cardiologist. The scheduled date for my test is not yet, I've not yet heard when it is. Okay, let's see, I'm not going to read all the Comments and questions. Rihanna Mala says, Please pray for me that Allah give me strength to become a true Muslim. That should be all of our prayer. Because a true Muslim means somebody who is lover of all, lover of humanity, lover of God, lover of all of God's creation. That's a true, a pure Muslim. We should all pray for the strength to become a lover of God and lover of humanity and lover, lover of all of God's creation. Thank you very much. Hassan Allah says, students, that is Taliban in Afghanistan, is with their teacher, ISI chief, is in Kabul on invitation of student for formulation of student government in Afghanistan. Um, okay, well they, they like I said, <laughs> 
they are sincere freedom fighters. There is another organization called Taliban in Pakistan, which is against the nation, against the people, against the government, against the military of Pakistan. Um, but this organization in Kabul, in Afghanistan, is, what shall I say, they're true nationalists, they're true patriots, they're true freedom fighters, they're protectors of their own country. And of course, it's a very, very difficult struggle to become free from the control and influence of foreign forces, um, but they are sincere patriots. So let us all pray that they can establish an interim government and they can then establish a real Islamic government based on principles of truth and love. <laughs> the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he taught truth and love. Uh, he did not teach terrorism. So they're different from the the Afghani Taliban are different from the Pakistani Taliban who are terrorists, uh, trained and <laughs> funded by anti-Pakistani forces. Rihana Manola says, Babaji, Allah aapko lambi zindagi de shukriya. He's saying, may God give me a long life. I also pray for that. Thank you. Um, let's see. I'm not going to say everything. Acha Shah Khan says, use Urdu. May iske baad my YouTube channel pe, my YouTube channel pe, Urdu mein yehi baat karunga. To ya bhi angrezi mein ma. If I Facebook chat kar raho, iske baad, uh, YouTube channel pay me, Urdu me baat karunga. Sometime, Muhammad Hamza says, I feel profound love for sinful humans, and I say that they are also an important part of this, the wor of this world. They balance the world. Forgive my ignorance. Uh, no, this is not ignorance. This is true. Love means love for everyone, not only for our friends and family and those who are uh, on our side, we might say, uh, those who are pious, those who are sincere, but also, we should try to be, of course, sincere and pious, but also those who are sinful and who are the enemies. Uh, we think of them as enemies, but actually they're also servants of God, playing their role as enemies of the <laughs> true, uh, sincere servants of God, and that's also an important part. They must be there, yes. So I, it's not ignorance, I agree completely with your statement that there are the good and evil forces and there is always a struggle between them um, but if there were not the evil forces where would the struggle be for the good forces <laughs> so by struggle we become purified by struggle we become refined like a um, sword which is sharpened so by struggling against the evil forces uh, we become refined, like a refiner's fire, like the, what is it, the gold or silver that is put in the fire, that becomes purified. So similarly, in the fire of struggle against evil, and those who are sincere, we become more and more purified, and that's the goal. So struggle is a part of life, and uh, there will always be struggle between the forces of good and evil. But right now we are in a particular time in human history where there is a major confrontation between good and evil in which evil has been in the sitting on the throne. <laughs> evil has been in control of this world for the most part for millennia. But now we are coming to a long prophesied time, a long foretold time when the forces of good will overcome the forces of evil. And that will last for a long time. Of course, in the future, distant future, there may be the resurgence of evil again, but this is a struggle that will go on. Um, but we should be very happy that we are being given the chance right now to participate in this struggle between good and evil, and we can cast our lot with the good side if we pray, if we fast, uh, if we are loving and kind to others, uh, then we will, whatever our religion, we will be on the side of truth and justice and love. Okay, Kurban Ali Kars. Sir, where is Urdu chat? On my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is listed here on my Facebook page. So after this chat, you can go to the top of my Facebook page and you can see my YouTube channel is listed there and you can uh, join the 
لائیو چیٹ ان اردو آئی ولو ہاں اردو میں میرے یوٹیوب چینل میرے فیس بک پیج پہ آپ دیکھ سکتے ہیں اس کا یو آر ایل اچھا ریحان امن اللہ سیز بابا جی اللہ آپ کو لمبی زندگی دے شکریہ وی آر ہیونگ مور پریئرس Hassan, oh no, let's see, I'm trying to, this, unfortunately my phone keeps doing this, the comments, it jumps back to the beginning, and I have to scroll down to come to the current comment, okay, let's see. Okay, Hassan Ali says, Uncle, please tell, about, tell us about politics of USA, either Biden is going on direction of deep state, Biden joined the presidency for a short period as it was decided by them. Yes, that's the way I see it. Biden is definitely going on the direction of the deep state, no doubt at all. He pretends to be a Christian, but he's unfortunately uh, not a real Christian. <laughs> I can say that honestly and openly. Um, it's a very complicated and difficult situation that America is in right now, but God is behind the scene and controlling everything. So uh, I would say, yes, short period. He's not going to last that long. He's the oldest president ever in the history of the United States, and his brain obviously is not functioning so well. He's becoming very forgetful and cannot even speak clearly sometimes. So <laughs> yes, I think that the deep state had this plan to put him in because they control him totally and uh, for a short period. Mohammed Hamza says, Taliban of Afghanistan had also shown, uh, s- what did it say? Self-killing jacket and car. What is this in your point of view? Um, the suicide bombers I- among the Afghan Taliban uh, are definitely uh, not understanding real Islam. That's not the way Islam encourages, because that inevitably kills many civilians uh, in these terrorist attacks um, and oneself also <laughs> suicide bombing is not permitted in Islam I don't accept that idea at all uh, there may be some misunderstanding amongst them but the overall picture of the Afghan Taliban which is not of course the picture that the mass media <laughs> portrays which is false don't believe the mass media I say again and again But uh, the real uh, Taliban are sincere Muslims who are fighting on Muslim principles. And it's crystal clear. Anyone who studies a little bit about Islam will easily come to the conclusion that suicide bombing and the killing of civilians is anti-Islamic. Even the real Islamic teaching is that in a war, you fight against the enemy, soldiers. You don't kill innocent civilians. You, don't, you cannot attack, you cannot even kill uh, innocent animals or trees, specifically forbidden to cut down trees, even during a war. So, what to speak of human beings and by terrorist acts? No, that is not proper understanding of Islam. Sajid, Sajid Babar says, we should learn from Taliban how to fight with enemies. Okay. Um... Let's see. <clears throat> M.A. Zaud Saeed Chaudhry says, Assalamu alaikum, sir. How's your health now? Really thankful to you for giving us knowledge. Jazakallah. So my health is better. I'm feeling much better. And so thank you all for your prayers. And I thank my good friend, <clears throat> Mr. Kamal. <clears throat> so you told me to have this juice of carrot juice with ginger and turmeric, which I think has really helped me a lot. Anyway, I'm much better now, so thank you for your question. Okay, we will end there. I think it's a very simple point I've been making, and thank you for your good questions and comments. I will now go to my YouTube channel and have a chat in Urdu there. Okay, Allah Hafiz. May God protect us all. And don't worry, God is going to help us all understand the truth, and the truth will come out and be established. May peace be upon you all, and may God protect us all. He certainly is, so we should be happy. <laughs>